You can try to go backside, but don't get hit by the race nade. Careful, they have Gecko Flash. I'm going. I'm going to break it. Oh yeah! Monster on the Race that shoulders. One on Only race is out. Go fight her. I'm full stunned. I'm full stunned. I'm going water. One twenty race. Yeah, Duggan, I'll follow it. Okay. So let's talk about this site hold because this is the first round they've actually hit our site, and there is no justification for us not obliterating them here. Um, because we got two Mollies, alarm bot. Uh, yeah, the gecko wall is kind of annoying for us to deal with. I'll give you that. There is race, race nade. Okay, let's look at the hold. So they get gecko, they have gecko flash. I'm going. I'm going to break it. And I feel like we just don't want to be um backside. We have a smoke. Uh, let me boot up Valorant. So one, if you can talk with your controller in the pre-round, it could be very useful to get them to throw this smoke top site that you can hold in. But let, let's pretend that your omen is um just like your Reyna. Okay. So if you look at the scenario, you'll see our omen is smoked off C main, and that is critical. Because they've smoked off C main, you can comfortably come over to this type of area. You can even come up onto these boxes. And when you're on these boxes, Thrash is going to have a very hard time getting at you. You can break a Gecko Flash, and you can dodge a Breach Flash. There, there's nothing undodgeable here. I'm not too worried about that. The most important thing you have to do when they come out is you have to pop this Molly to isolate the first guy. And you should get a free kill here. Like, Wraith should die to you, for sure. And this Molly should give you enough time where oh now you, you should be able to drop and, like, relocate. Because, like, how are they going to come out? Like, yeah, they're going to Breach Stun you and Omen Flash you or something. But the Omen Flash is likely to be too low because you're on these boxes. But even if it hits you, it should be fine, right? Because we have these Mollies. And I'm sure you recognize this position is way more proactive and it's way stronger in this scenario. It, it, it's not like every scenario that I'm going to be like, oh, go on these boxes and throw your life away. But here you're not throwing your life away. I'm trying to plan for main. I will plan for main. They have killed We need to take city, guys. I'm going to... I don't have flank for now. <laughs> like, look, chat. Like, there's no universe that can tell this guy anything but his mechanics are a problem. Like, do you see this shit? He calls everything. He told Omen he's going to alarm by waterfall. He for calls me. he's going to plant for main. We need to take he spots Killjoy ult. He's even planting away from the fucking spam. Like, I guarantee you, if he had radiant mechanics, he would be fucking radiant. It's the only thing he's missing. But the problem is he's missing it by so much that it's like a goddamn mountain. Nope. I haven't. Another Nairon Masterclass. Who finds the site with one defender. Ramp. One one HP to Joy. Man, I can't. One more, one more. Nice. I'm turret CT. I have turret CT. Uh, they're gonna ult, they're gonna ult, they're gonna ult from, from main. Yep, he notices good. everything. I'm going CT. He literally notices everything. I'm gonna push him to CT. I'm going behind them, guys. Wait. Enemy spotted A. One enemy remaining. And then you do that. Like, dude. You hit the world's hardest wall in mid immortal if you don't start treating every fight like it's your last fight stop looking around with your crosshair while holding angles dial it the fuck in during every clutch stop throwing away easy round with lazy cross sprays defense especially on bind you leave your post as anchor too frequently you don't threaten and lurk as much as i would like attack more lurking but honestly on average love the mid round calling energy just keep doing that probably not gonna be a problem okay 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 i remember gecko. Gecko flash the, he's alone here though i think we're watching a gecko lotus pro analysis today Two, two more. We have another pro vod where they told me I have to watch what it. Omen 84. Unlucky, my bad. 84. Omen. Down, race was C. Spawn. Race was C. Last was C. One careful behind you. Remaining. Careful behind you. He was <laughs> this guy is actually deaf. See, he was C, bro. This guy is literally deaf. Oh, careful behind you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has no ears. Last player. <laughs> <laughs> Standing. Oh no. Oh no. Recalling my bot. Oh, I stabbed. Oh fuck. I am in call with a friend. I would I hate this guy so much, dude. 
Spike planted. Turret out. Ребят, про. And now we just lose around. Uh, yeah. Imagine if I died right now. There's not much you can do there, okay. dude. So the only thing we could have considered doing differently two, two is at this point, four. it is likely too passive to go this way. If you are going to go that way, you kind of have to full knife out all the way to Reyna because you know this space is all safe. Reyna, you can see. Playing here what is the good, because they might push you. Unlucky. But like, at this point, you can take the fight towards Raze. It's totally fine. You, the only thing you have to make sure you do is you don't give this one, like, really long-range engagement. Not the best for your classic. But the rest is not bad. Boy, one is, clo so one is close to me. Here, fuck this shit. Close to the box. There's three side. Raze, bridge, kill train. Oh, I... Kill train. That's tough. 140 race, a 90 on killjoy. Yeah, you gotta beat that guy. Uh, I believe you... Yeah, you sort of panicked. I don't think you were expecting them. Or maybe you haven't seen this angle before. Because your reaction was very... Um, Because you're basically on her head, which is really good. Like, this is an easy shot for you. And you can see how much you overcorrect. Like, she can't peek away over here because she'd fall off the box. That's exactly where you go to aim. Even though you're right next to her head on this peak. Oh, 140 race, a 90 on killjoy. We're getting that stuff three rounds in a row now. We should kill that race. It's kind of annoying to hear that because it looks sort of like a 50 50, but it's not really. Um, first, we shouldn't be choosing to play this odd angle for this potential engagement where they're going to peak. We should be a bit wider. It's like you can't die like this because like on average, radiant player won't. Uh, I would be a bit wider and I'd be holding. I wouldn't give them the option of the vertical peak. That's where I'd say you went the most wrong because they can peek on this box and close so you either off angle and you keep your jet here to double hold in case they swing or you just like fall way back you can try to go back side but don't get hit by the race race nade they have gecko flash i'm going i'm going to break it oh yeah race at shoulders oh, only race is out go fight her i'm full stun i'm full stun i'm going water 120 race your dog and i'll follow it Okay, so let's talk about this site hold because this is the first round they've actually hit our site and there is no justification for us not obliterating them here because um, we got two mollies, alarm bots. Uh, yeah, the gecko wall is kind of annoying for us to deal with. I'll give you that. There is. Race, play, race nade. Okay, let's look at the hold. So they get gecko wall. flash. I'm going, I'm going to break it. And I feel like we just don't want to be um, back site. We have a smoke. Uh, let me boot up Valorant. So one, if you can talk with your controller in the pre-round, it could be very useful to get them to throw this smoke top site that you can hold in. But let, let's pretend that your omen is um just like your Reyna. Okay? So if you look at the scenario, you'll see our omen is smoked off C main, and that is critical. Because they've smoked off C main, you can comfortably come over to this type of area. You can even come up onto these boxes. And when you're on these boxes, Thrash is going to have a very hard time getting at you. You can break a gecko flash and you can dodge a breach flash. There, there's nothing undodgeable here. I'm not too worried about that. The most important thing you have to do when they come out is you have to pop this molly to isolate the first guy. And you should get a free kill here. Like Wraith should die to you for sure. And this molly should give you enough time where now you, you should be able to drop and like relocate. Because like, how are they going to come out? Like, yeah, they're going to breach stun you and omen flash you or something. But the omen flash is likely to be too low because you're on these boxes. But even if it hits you, it should be fine, right? Because we have these mollies. And I'm sure you recognize this position is way more proactive and it's way stronger in this scenario. It, it, it's not like every scenario that I'm going to be like, oh, go on these boxes and throw your life away. But here you're not throwing your life away. Like, let's just visualize it. Like, look. Now you pop your molly so they, they can't come out. You're up here. And you're just spraying this guy down. And it, it's like, what, what odds do you want to give yourself? 80%? You kill this guy? Monster. 
Maybe even higher. Oh, Aren't there Gecko and Breach flashing together? Not here, they're not. Here they thrashed out and then Breach flashed. But dude, let's pretend that they do, okay? Like, if they pop both flashes perfectly, you break this, pop your Molly, just come over here, man. You're fine. Because Raze is satcheling and she's landing here. She's not gonna peek this way to fight you. She's gonna wrap this way. And by the time she gets like here, you're, you're no longer blind. It feels bad because to you because it's very like chaotic and you have to fight and whatever but i assure you this is very strong as long as you can remain calm in this scenario and that's sort of like you have to be able to remain calm as the killjoy holding your sight aggressively because your killjoy like your agent is designed to lock down sights if they push killjoy plus omen we should be blasting them man wait turn this down wait wait i have flank i have good flank one enemy remaining. Hey! Nice. Uh, you tried. One enemy. Why the hell are you tapping these two guys? Though? Enemy remaining. Wait, I have flank. I have good flank. Oh, I see it. Why are you doing this? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So they're not looking at you. So it should be bop, bop. But you go bop, bop. It's not that you're rushing your shot. It's that you're moving. Why are you moving? There's nothing to dodge right now. Right after you kill this raise, it's like you have this muscle memory to enter this strafing pattern. You see, you start moving, but there's no reason to strafe right now. It should be bop, bop. And now as Gecko turns, yeah, you come this way and like jump spot or whatever. Or, or sure, you come out here if you really want to commit to fighting him. But um, why are you moving? Yeah, Anana is also is pointing out he would shoot the Gecko first. <laughs> <laughs> because it, your second shot is easier <laughs> they're not looking at you you shouldn't move and you should also know that when they start turning towards you you should already know which way you're gonna move is there an obvious direction to you right now if you look at this now in hindsight like let's say you shoot the rays and now you miss on gecko and he starts turning which way in your head in hindsight now is the obvious way for you to move okay, let's draw our wasd so let's say gecko is now turning Rays is dead is, does either direction seem obvious to you left Okay, I think you're wrong. I'm almost certainly going right. So first of all, let's pretend that this cover doesn't exist because the cover is also like very nice to have. But let's pretend the cover doesn't exist. I'm still going right because I'm dodging their crosshair. This guy who flicks left on average is going to under flick on average. And you want to walk away from their crosshair, not into it. <laughs> Can't wait. One enemy no way I'm pushing like this. No way, no way I'm spamming, man. There's nothing really wrong with this fight. I like the movement. Uh, I like the popping, too. It's just you, your gun, your actual aim is not the best in it. But, like, no way I'm your aim like is. So. There is one thing I'll point out, no. though. Um, what the phone? So your your strafing pattern a. could be better. When you pop and swing like this, you don't want to you don't want to um, cancel and go to the right. When you pop in out and you saw her bullet land on your right, I would keep strafing to the left in this fight because their crosshair is doing that thing where it lags behind you and they're trying to catch up to you. And if you you do my aim labs playlist, I see it in your username. You know the first task where the ball moves left and right. Have you ever accidentally hit the ball because your crosshair was behind it and it turned around? You probably have. And that's what you're doing for this Killjoy right now. You've outplayed her. You've gone past her crosshair. Killjoy, look at So right now her crosshair is to your right, as you can see. If you took a strafe to the left, like after this shot immediately, instead of to your right, then her crosshair would still be behind you. You actually put yourself at risk by taking a right side strafe here. It, it seems so minor, but we can pull up. I don't know. You know what, let's pull up a Poland VOD. Has he submitted a VOD? Because he's like radiant. Going up, going up to you, right? Okay, here, here. Perfect. This is the exact example. So we're in an off angle. If this raise has her gun out, then she is almost certainly pre-aiming too deep. Now, of course, Poland kills the guy, but look what he does after his first shot. You see how he's already moving to the right? 
is exactly what I was looking for. Now, sure, she dies, so we can change our plan already. But he already knows that he's gonna take a, his first strafe even wider. Because this is a difference, dude. Like, look at your time to kill. Push like, everyone has this problem. <laughs> in the, like, low immortal. Like, we're just not seeing a fight like this in a radium pod. Because somebody's already dead. You should already be dead because you strafed to your right. And Killjoy should have one tapped you. I wish I had fights like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, this fight is so luxuriously long. I have to give you a strike for this fight. It's like, you die way too fast. Or you... Sorry, you should die too fast in this fight because you're, you don't kill the guy. Do I practice it with DMs? Um, so it depends. I don't have a DM VOD of yours, but if your gunfights in DM look exactly like your fights in ranked already, then yes, DMs are great. If your fights in ranked look significantly worse than your fights in DM, then you need to play ranked. You have a DM VOD? Oh, bet. Let me see. Let me see. The, the other problem with DM is like once you get high enough ELO, a lot of the people you're fighting are hot garbage. Okay, you have a lot you can work on in DM. Yeah. This fight against Killjoy, though, is a perfect example that we have a lot to fix. So when my crosshair is off like this, which will happen, she's in the off angle. My first shot... Are you Phantom here? Yeah, okay. My first shot is not going to be a burst. It's going to be a dead zone. And then I'm going to burst. Actually, I was digging up old clips, and I found a clip that perfectly demonstrates this. There's me! Okay, so fortunately they have their knives out. So watch what my like instinct does here. You see? Now let's keep watching. Got mine. So here I see their knife out. I instantly fight. My own <laughs> I forgot I come got mine. <laughs> got mine. The way you just dig up a VOD like this. Yeah, I mean, here I'm playing controller and I'm hecking. This is before I'm like super famous coach. So I'm still playing like hella ranked. So here I'm in an off angle when I get peaked. So where's his crosshair? It's almost certainly going to be like over here. Hey, you can see it against Breach, too. You pull your gun out. You're not ready to shoot. And here again, it's like there's this sh shake in your crosshair when you shoot. Um, I actually saw it when you were holding the Viper here. Watch. Whoa, bam. Now, in slow-mo, that looks like you flicked and shot, but watch. Watch at speed. You see that, like, that jump in your crosshair when you fire the gun? It's like, as you shoot your crosshair, like, I'm exaggerating, but it, like, does this. It's annoying for Neron to hear, but, dude, it's the same as... I don't think you've completed the notes yet. Because your pre-rounding is good. Your mid-rounding is good. Yeah, your sight hole could be a bit better a couple of times. But... If I put fake Ananas in control of just your movement and aim, I don't let him decide any of this positional nonsense. I'm pretty sure this game is six to two right now. Swarm grenade out. It's not the hell, they send Spikes Wingman out? Oof. What the? Spikes bun You see what I'm talking about? There's no control. You frequently just launch bullets all over the place. It's, it's like for. each shot you take, you're trying to land a micro flick or something. It's like, it's like you're doing this type of thing where every shot you're taking one of these micro flicks and like one micro flick at the start of the fight is reasonable, but now you have to be on the guy. Just do the 100 Thieves Ace on Sen, I think it was. Uh, I prefer their own POV though, Dre. When I analyze stuff like this, I'll just let you know. Because the spectator client is 128 tick, um, you'll actually, you won't be able to unsee this. Now I've told you. There are times where you'll see a pro holding an angle like this in the VCT. And if you look at their POV, it looks like this. 
<laughs> and so the pro will be holding like this. The casters be like, how are they holding that? And then they'll shoot a shot and it'll kill. They'll be like, he hits that? And it, if you have like the pro's POV, it turns out they're holding like this wide. Like it's still tight, but it's way less tight. And it's just because like they made... The there's like very small desync occasionally between the spectator client and what the player actually sees. Derek, and now the swing. All right. So first he's peeking out and he doesn't recognize tens yet. He's going past. And the moment we register tens, we snap back to the right. We shoot a initial micro flick and we miss. And now he's dead on the head, dead on the head, right? He goes a bit past him. But this is because Tens is moving into this crosshair. Okay, first kill. Peek out. Micro flicked. We haven't even shot yet. He does target acquisition first, and then he starts shooting. Kill. Kill. Here we over flick on Dapper. Do we fire? No, because we're not on him yet. Another adjustment onto the head. You see how it's it's clinical, man. Like you're calling this guy shaky. Look at the technique. It's all perfect. But at speed, at speed, it looks unreasonable. But all he's doing is flick micro adjust. He's just really fast at it, but he's using the exact technique that you would, should be using. He's just faster. Yeah, the rounding is fine once again. Thrash isn't done with you. Last player standing. Thrash isn't done with you. Look, you get to shoot. Oh, bro, look. Like, you literally go past him, and then you go past him again. Like, this is... What's up with that? And now you're already shooting. Bro. You got to shoot this guy three times. I'm, in I'm trying to plan for main. I will plan for main. They have killed Jules. We need to take CT, guys. I'm gonna. I don't have flank for now. Like, look, chat. Like, there's no universe that can tell this guy anything but his mechanics are a problem. Like, do you see this shit? He calls everything. He told Omen he's gonna alarm by waterfall. He mm -hmm. calls he's gonna plant they for have main. We need to take he spots Killjoy ult. He's even planting away from the fucking spam like i guarantee you if he had radiant mechanics he would be fucking radiant it's the only thing he's missing but the problem is he's missing it by so much that it's like a goddamn mountain thanks city guys i'm gonna come city to you man nice I'm, I'm gonna hold city with you man like, there's nothing have... this mid rounding is perfect flank for now it, it, could, it could be better like sure but like it, it doesn't matter like, yeah we can be like omen let's fucking double swing or whatever come out hold with him it doesn't matter though because you just, oh, can we just come hold high low i mean look yeah bet you just called the high low dude like i'm playing they're such a dog one enemy remaining Yeah. Cool. Nope. Uh, Another Neyron Master Class who finds the site with one defender. Rep. One rep. One HP to Joy. Man, I can't. One more, one more. Nice. I'm torching CT. I have torched CT. Uh, they're gonna hold, they're gonna hold, they're gonna hold from, from main. Yep, he notices play. everything. He literally notices everything. I'm gonna push him to CT. I'm going behind them, guys. Wait. Enemy spotted A. One enemy remaining. And then you do that. Like, dude! One drop. I'm watching A-Link. I'm not gonna pick A-Link, but there is one A-Link. One enemy oh, remaining. Nice. Wolf on B. Wait, he's coming out. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. That smoke Last is actually really standing. awkward for us. Long grenade out. I just smoke, motherfucker. I don't know if you notice it, Nayron, but you're actually afraid to give fights because hey, of um yeah, 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 yeah. your lack of um Wait, he's comfort. So here he has no flash. Your omens made tons out. of presence and has sound baited for you. In my head, I am getting into this off angle and I'm killing Gecko every day. It's the same notes, but honestly, I'm going to 
literally your only problem is you don't convert 50s even remotely close to as often as a higher rated player would is it more patience it's no it's like everything sometimes you don't want patience sometimes you do it, it's like here you want to shoot the two without moving and i feel like that's not a patience thing necessarily i guess it could be but in other fights i want you to like rush your first shot or like in this fight with killjoy with their sheriff i loved everything about this except then you you strafed back to the right even though you pop and swung it and i wanted you to keep going left just make sure the way you aim uh, make sure the way you aim matches the way you practice and aim labs this is what i'm looking for because the way that those scenarios are designed it tells you how to approach the aim and what accuracy like percentages to aim for and whatnot so as long as you can look at your death match and go i fought that guy exactly how i would have shot them if they were a dot moving against the wall then you're chilling hey Woohoo Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.